Hello everyone. So in the last video lecture, we have discussed there the power formula. So the power formula would be as follows. So if you would be getting the integral of a certain entity raised to the power of n times du, it would be equal to u raised to n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c. So it would be this one right here. But there is actually a limitation to this formula right here. So you can only use this formula if the value of your n or the exponent right here I mean, this value right here should not be equal to negative 1. So what if the value of your letter n or your um, exponent n is equal to negative 1? So let's say that that is to be, so the integral of u raised to negative 1 times du. And actually, guys, this equation right here can be rewritten as the integral of du divided by u. So basically, both of these terms right here are the same. If you are to uh, solve for the integral of an equation that looks like this, this is actually equal to the natural logarithm of u plus c. So it would be as simple as this. So let's just have an example instead for you to understand it better. So here, so as you can see in the lower left part of your screen, this is to be the general formula for the logarithm or the a logarithm function of our integral. So let's solve for this one right here and check if we can use this one instead of the power formula. So this one right here can also be rewritten as so integral of x squared plus 32 raised to negative 1 times x times dx. And as you can see here, the exponent of this term right here is to be negative 1. So with that being said, we cannot use our power formula since n is equal to negative 1. So let's just check if this equation right here can be used. So let's break them down into this ones right here. So the value of your u in this term right here is to be this one right here, which is x squared plus 32. So u is equal to x squared plus 32. What about for our du? So our du should be the differential, I mean the derivative of this term right here. So the derivative of this term right here is equal to, so since this is to be 2, so that is to be 2, x raised to n minus 1, and this is 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 plus what would be the derivative of a constant that is to be equal to 0. So with that, du is now equal to 2x. So if you can see here, this is to be your du and this is to be for your value for u. So this is for u and this is for du. So it is not as exact as this one right here since this is to be x dx and du is actually, by the way, that this is to be 2x dx, I should say. So dx and dx. And as you can see here, there is actually a missing digit 2 right here for this equation right here to be exactly as this one right here. So I would just be copying this one at the bottom part. So using this equation right here, for it to follow the same format as this one right here, I would be introducing an identity of 2. So this is to be over 2. So basically, I am just multiplying this by 1. So there. And what I would be doing is that I would be moving this digit right here to the interior part. So this is to be 1 half times this one right here. And as you can see here, this is to be your du. And this one right here is to be for your variable of u. So it now follows this format right here. So with that being said, so this is to be equal to ln of u, so ln, or the natural logarithm of u. And our u here is equal to this one right here. So x squared plus 32 plus c. But don't you forget about this constant right here that we have introduced. So all of these ones right here should be multiplied by 1 half. So we'll just be moving this one right here. So 1 half times ln x squared plus 32 plus c. So simplifying this, this is to be equal to so ln 
or the natural logarithm of x squared plus 32 divided by 2. Plus, so c times 1 half. So constant times 1 half or constant divided by 2 is still a constant. So it is still a constant. So this is to be your final answer for this particular problem. Okay, so let's proceed with our next problem. So in this problem right here, we are to solve for the integral of x squared dx divided by 3x cubed plus 4. So this equation right here can actually be rewritten as so the integral of 3x cubed plus 4 raised to negative 1 times x squared times dx. So basically, this one right here is to be this one right here. So they are identical. Okay, so as you can see here, the exponent of this term right here, which would be our letter u later, is equal to negative 1. And since n is equal to negative 1, or the exponent of your u is to be negative 1, it means that we cannot use our power formula. Instead, since our n once again is to be equal to negative 1, we would be using this formula instead. Okay, so the next thing that we should do right now is to get our value for your u. And in this case, the value for our u is to be this one right here at the denominator side. So this one right here. So this is to be equal to 3x cubed plus 4. So if that is to be your u, getting the derivative of it would give you an answer of, so using our general equation, which is um, n times x raised to n minus 1. So this is to be the general equation for your derivatives. So this is now equal to, so 3 times the derivative of x cubed, and that is to be 3x raised to n minus 1. And our n minus 1 right here is to be uh, 2. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So there times dx. And as for the second term right here, what would be the derivative of 4? So that is to be plus 0 dx. So we can now get rid of this one right here. So erasing this once. So the value for your du is now equal to 9x squared dx. So with this being your du and this one being your u, so we would now be checking if it would now follow this format right here. So the integral of the du, I mean the integral of du divided by u. And as you can see here, this is to be x squared dx and this is to be 3x cubed plus 4. So does it follow this format right here? So basically, yes, but not quite. So as you can see in this part right here, we have this value 9, which is missing in this part right here. So what we would be doing is that we would be multiplying this certain um, equation right here with an identity of 9 for it to have a value of 9. We would just be multiplying it by 9 over 9. So basically, once again, we are just multiplying this equation right here by 1. So the next thing that I would be doing is that I would be moving this value right here inside. And from that, this is now equal to 1. And as you can see right now, this value right here is exactly the same as this value right here, which is du. So this is to be your du, and this is to be for your u. So solving for our problem right now, so I would just be dividing this into two parts for us to have space. And following this format, our answer is now to be equal to, so don't forget this one right here, so 1 over 9 times the answer for this particular equation right here. So if this is to be your format, this is to be your answer. So that is to be the natural logarithm of your u, and our u is equal to 3x cubed plus 4. So 3x cubed plus 4 plus c. So this is to be your answer. And simplifying this, so this is to be equal to the natural logarithm of 3x cubed plus 4 divided by 9 plus c over 9. So a constant divided by a constant is still a constant. So this is still equal to c. So from that, this is now to be your final answer for this particular problem. 
Okay, so for our third and final problem for this video, we would be getting the integral of dx over square root of x times 1 plus square root of x. So there. So basically, does it look like this one right here? So by the looks of it, it does not look like that one right there. So the first thing that we should do is to uh, get the value of ru and rdu. So in this case right here, ru is to be just this one right here, which is 1 plus square root of x. And if we are to rewrite this one right here, this can also be rewritten as 1 plus x raised to 1 half, since the square root of a certain entity is just the entity raised to 1 half. So that is to be the main idea in getting the root of a certain number. So there. So if that is to be your u, getting our du right now is to be equal to, so that what is to be the differential, I mean, the derivative of a constant, that is to be equal to 0, plus, so what is to be the derivative of this value right here, so that is to be 1 half times x raised to n minus 1, so this is to be 1 half minus 1. So from that, our du would now be equal to, so 1 half times x raised to negative 1 half. So this is to be for your value for your du. So do you see that here? Not yet. But if you take note, guys, that this equation right here can be written as this. So it can be written as x raised to negative 1 half times dx divided by 1 plus square root of x. So this one right here in the denominator side, which is the square root of x, can be written as x raised to negative 1 half if you would be writing it in the numerator side. So if you can see here, this one right here is quite similar to this one right here. It's just that you are missing this 1 half right here. So what you would be doing once again is to multiply an identity of 2. So from that, this is to be it. So introduce 2 over 2. And from that, for this one right here to be the case for this equation right here, I would be moving this part right here in the interior part. And this is now to be equal to 1. So for your du, this is to be for the, the value for your du. So this one right here. So once again, I have forgotten to include dx here. So this is to be dx. So it would be this part right here. So from that, we can now use this particular equation right here. So for our value here, so I would just be dividing this for us to have space. So using this equation once again, we can now write our answer. So don't forget this value right here first. So that is to be equal to 2 times natural logarithm of u and our u here is to be equal to 1 plus square root of x. So 1 plus square root of x plus c. So this is to be your answer here. So to further simplify this one right here, this is to be 2 ln 1 plus square root of x plus, so 2 times c. So that is basically still a constant, so that is plus c. So this is to be for your final answer for this particular problem right here.